Mr. Stepanov has challenged your story in court, hasn't he? I've never been to court with Mr. Stepanov. He's sued a reporter who republished the information on your website. Isn't that true? No. No? No. You're not aware of that? He didn't sue a reporter. Who did he sue? He sued an activist. I see. Is this like a whistleblower? Another label you give people? Who's this activist? Alexei Navalny. And Mr. Stepanov sued Alexei Navalny, right? Yes. And it was Mr. Stepanov who, who won, right? That's correct. Got a judgment for defamation against Mr. Navalny, right? Correct. For republishing the information on your website. That's correct. You know whether it would be legal in Russia for Mr. Kleiner to have income tax returns from, of Mr. Stepanov? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I don't know. Are income tax returns public in uh, Russia? I don't know. Did you ask Mr. Kleiner where'd you get income tax returns? No. Because you didn't want to know? No. Aren't you curious? You got $38,000 from income tax returns. That's an unusual fact, isn't it? It's unusual to have that kind of information, isn't it? No. Do you have income tax returns for other people? Lots of people are, have income tax returns. Lots of people have other people's income tax returns? Sure. Politicians, etc. Politicians have other people's income tax returns? No. Politicians' income tax returns. Lots of people have politicians' income tax returns. Mr. Stepanov is not a politician, is he? No. What business is he in? I'm not sure. Did you investigate what business he was in? My team did. And what did they discover? Uh, he was a small-time businessman. Small-time being what? Having average earnings of, with his wife of $38,000 a year. Do income tax returns in Russia require reporting of foreign income? I'm not a Russian accountant. Do you file income tax returns in Russia? My firm did on my behalf. Do they report foreign income? I don't know. Well, in the United States, you know we have to report foreign income, right? I don't know. You gave up your U.S. citizenship in 1998? Correct. Right? Just as the laws about reporting foreign income came into effect? Is that right? I don't know. Why did you give up your uh, U.S. citizenship in 1998? I emigrated to the U.K. 10 years earlier. So the UK require you to give up your US citizenship? No. So then why'd you give up your US citizenship? Personal reasons. And what are those personal reasons? My family was <coughs> persecuted during the McCarthy era. I see. And your father is the head of the economics department where? What university? He's not head of it. What was he? My father was a professor of mathematics at the where? University of Chicago. Was he the head of the department at some point? Yep. And your uncle? What position does, did he have? He was a mathematician at Princeton. Head of the department at one point? Yeah. But you're concerned that your family was persecuted, but they made to the head of the department of two prestigious universities? And that's why you gave up your U.S. citizenship? Yeah. What kind of persecution did you face? My grandmother was um, uh, sick with cancer, and um, the U.S. government tried to deport her to Russia in, when she was dying. What year was that? In 1950-something. I see. And so 
1998, this all came back as a rush of emotion you decided to give up your U.S. citizenship? No. So as far as you're concerned, it was fine for Mr. Kleiner to have Mr. Stepanova's uh, Mr. Stepanov's tax returns, right? Nothing illegal about that, no. as far as you know. You received a subpoena from the United States in February of 2014. I did, yes. I mean, we're pulling it out. The trial was scheduled by the judge on February 4th, 2014 for the end of March 2014. Do you remember that? I do. You were at the White House that day, February 4th, 2014. Do you remember that? No. You were at the White House at the beginning of uh, 2014? I don't remember. How many times have you been to the White House? Once. When was that? 2000, 2002, something like that. All right, we'll have to pull out some records. Marking for identification as Exhibit 17, a document entitled White House Visitor Records Requests. Yep. It says name last Browder. Yep. Name first William. Yep. Middle initial F. Appointment date February 12, 2014. See that? Yes. So does this refresh your recollection that uh, you had a meeting at the White House with a Mr. Carpenter on February 4, 12, 2014? Could you break down the question? There's several questions there. Did you have a meeting at the White House on February 14, 2014? No. I had a meeting at the old executive office building. I see within the White House complex? Yes. So when I asked you when you've been to the White House, you weren't talking about the White House complex? Correct. So I have to be very careful in asking my questions. Is that right? Did you meet with Mr. Carpenter? Yes. Who else was present? Juliana Glover. Who's Juliana Glover? She was my lobbyist. She was your lobbyist? Correct. When did you discharge her from being your lobbyist? Uh, her, she left her firm to join a new firm, and uh, that's when the relationship, the business relationship ended. When was that? I can't remember. Maybe a year ago. Well, she was present when you were served with a subpoena just a couple months ago, right? Correct. But that wasn't part of a business relationship? No. At one point, um, you learned that John Kerry, the Secretary of State, stopped additions to the list, right? Uh, 
what are you what, what point are you referring to? In 2014. I think it was the White House, but I can't remember who was stopping it. Somebody was stopping it. Didn't you call Mr. Kerry the lapdog of Mr. Putin? I might have. Are you referring you, to a specific quote or document? I'm referring to a quote. Did you call Mr. Kerry the lapdog of Putin? Can I see the document and I'll confirm it? No, I'm asking you whether you said it. I don't remember. If I showed you the document, you would remember. It would refresh my memory. I see. So you have no recollection of calling Secretary of State Kerry the lapdog of Putin? Maybe your colleague can show me the document and it will refresh my memory. But unless I show you a document, you're not going to admit to the statement. I've made a lot of statements about a lot of people. I'd like to see the statement. Do you feel that Mr. Kerry is the lapdog of, of Putin? Well, let me see the statement and I'll... Do you think Mr. Kerry is the lapdog of Putin? Do I think... <laughs> yes. And why? Because, in my opinion, <clears throat> he's uh, following a policy of appeasement towards Russia. Including not in adding people to the Magnitsky list. Among other things. What other things are you referring to? San sanctions policy more generally. Arms to Ukraine, Syria, Iran. Etc. An interesting subject, but not part of the lawsuit, so we'll pass on it. You know Mr. Levayev? I know of him. Never met him? I have. You've met him how many times? Twice. <coughs> when was that? In 1996. And sometime in the early 2000s. And what were the circumstances of meeting Mr. Levive? Social. He was at a party. Both occasions? Yeah. Never did any business with him? No. You know people who did business with him? No. You know Mr. Uh, Guidemack? No. Know anything about... Uh, structure for holding real estate in Europe called the Dutch Sandwich? No. You don't own any real estate in Europe? I'm sorry? Do you own any real estate in Europe? No. Let me take a short break. The time is 4.52 p.m. We are off the record.